going on snipers and welcome to my first card video here on my channel uh so my for my first card video i'm not going to be opening actually any boxes but i'm going to be showing you guys my personal collection if some of you guys know um i collect cam atkinson cards like for hockey card wise um i have a pretty huge collection i've been collecting him for like almost the last five years so i will show you guys my collection today so starting off here, we got a AHL Top Prospects. This is just when he was playing in Springfield back in 2011-12. This is also probably going to be a really long video, guys, because I have a lot of stuff of his. And I actually have two of his cards on the way still. Um, next up, we have three of his Black Diamond Rookie Gems from 2011-12 Black Diamond. All of this rookie stuff is 2011-12. So there you go. Um, we also have his Rookie Gems Ruby. This is numbered to only 100. Get that in focus a bit. There you go. As you can see on here, numbered 84 out of 100. Um, next up on to 2011-12 Certified, we have his Rookie Jersey Auto. This is numbered to 150. This is just the like standard silver version. Then we have the gold version. This one's numbered to 25. It's kind of more of a patch in there instead of the jersey. It's pretty cool. And as you can see, at 25. And then this one was one of my first biggest pickups in the PC, which is the emerald uh, patch auto numbered only to 5. So technically, I only need the black version out of 1 to complete this rainbow, but I've never seen it yet, so pretty nice. Then on to 2011-12 Panini Contenders, we got two of these rookie autographs, number to 800. There you go, really nice cards, on-card autographs. Next up from also Contenders, we got this nice auto patch. This one I actually picked up just recently. This one is only numbered to 100. Uh, there is apparently a 101 version, but I've seen it in some other guys' collections, so um, yeah, I'm never going to get it probably. But this one's a nice three-color chunk anyways. So there you go. Uh, then we go on to 2011-12 Crown Royale. I got three of his rookie royalty autos. Really nice cards as well. And yeah, these ones are on-card as well. They're not sticker autographs. Um, then more on-card autographs here. We got some Scratching the Surface from Crown Royale. Two of them. They're pretty cool looking cards as well and stuff for it looks like his pen kind of, well maybe not died at the end of it, but they kind of looked different in comparison to his other autographs. Um, then we have a printing plate. This was actually inserted in National Treasures 2013-14, but it is from 11-12 Crown, Crown Royale. It's the cyan printing plate. That one I picked up for I think 20 bucks or less. Next on to Dominion, which I have some really nice ones. So we got two... Uh, rookie patch autographs number to 199. This one's a nice three color patch, and then this one's a nice four color patch. Kind of well, because there's like a darker silver, there's a bit of white, blue, and then you see the tiny bit of red in the corner right there. So, yeah, very nice cards, those ones. And then we also have this one. This one was like my first big uh, like acquisition in the PC. Um, it is the nice 2011 12 Dominion. Gold rookie patch auto number to 25. This one has a nasty patch with four colors on it, as well as you can see the silver in the corner, the blue, the red, and the white. Really nice. And then we have the emerald version, which I bought for $40 or less as well back in the day. Three color patch number to five. Like I said, this is going to be a really long video because I have like over 200 different of his cards. So. This might be like a 30 minute video if I maybe do some editing to it, I don't know. Then we got this 2011 Dominion uh, like printing plate patch. Nice three color chunk on there, as you can see it is a one of one on the top corner. Then we have his Dominion horizontal patch auto number 13. Another really nice one, this one's the first one in uh, out of the 13 cards. Then we got the Dominion jersey number to 100. Dominion Prime Jersey number to 25. This one actually is his jersey number out of 25. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the patch version number to 10. 
this one that I've only seen like this one before so there's like not that much of these out there right now and then we got the complete rookies like patch prime uh, um, normal jersey and fight strap uh, number to 25 I bought this one off Clutes and Chara if you guys know that card store then we have the Dominion Prime Mammoth Jersey number 25. Really nice three colors. Then we have the Dominion Quads with Joe Hansen, Savard, and John Moore. Number 13 of 25. So once again, his jersey number. And then we have his Elite Rookie number 2999. You can see on the back. Then we have his Elite Aspirations Rookie. This is number 2, only 99. I do not have the gold status version yet, but if you guys see one or you have one, let me know. Um, then we have two of his rookie autos from Elite as well. Nice and shiny. And these ones are not numbered. Then we have his new breed jersey. We have his new breed patch, numbered to 25. Two color chunk. You can see it at 25. We have his in the game heroes and prospects base from when he was with Springfield. We have two of his in the game heroes and prospects rookie autographs. Isn't that nice. We have his pinnacle rookie. Nice and shiny as well. We have his starting six jersey with Rick Nash, Jared Bull, John Moore, Alan York, and Derek Broussard. This one's technically numbered to 200, but it doesn't actually say it on the card itself. We have three of his prime duels, like prime combos, with uh, David Savard numbered to 225. As you can see, this one, this one, and this one. We have his prime combos, prime version, numbered to 50, with David Savard. Nice two color chunks on all those prime pieces. We have his Prime Combos patch, number to 25. Nice chunks as well on this one. We have his Prime Time Rookie jersey, number to 99. There we go. As you can see on the back, it's number to 99. On the bottom, it's going to focus. There you go. We have the jersey autograph. This one's numbered to only 50. And then we have the prime, uh, prime time rookie jersey. A lot of prime. And it is out of 25. Yeah, out of 25. Next up, we got his prime rookies. Just the regular prime rookies. Numbered to 199. You can see right there. We got two of the Hall of Silver prime rookies. Numbered to 50. As you can see here on the back, it is out of 50. Sorry if it keeps not focusing. Try and get it to focus here. Okay, there you go. We also got two of these uh, gold, Hall of Gold patch autographs. These ones are only numbered to 25. Next up, we have his Rookie Rivalry Dual Jersey with Craig Smith. We have two Rookie Rivalry Dual Jerseys with Jonathan Blum. One has a white part on Jonathan Blum, and one has a normal blue one. Then we have two Rookie uh, Treasures Jersey autographs, numbered to $4.99. One of them is actually $4.99 of $4.99, which is pretty cool. Then we have two of his Score Hot Rookies. These are actually short prints. It's kind of weird seeing him wearing number 38 in these. Because I am used to seeing him wearing number 13. Then we got his um, extended rookie from SP Authentic. We got two of his future watch autographs numbered to 9 dollars We got his Future Watch Auto Patch, number 200, nice three color chunk. Really like the design from 2011 12. 
we have his SV game used authentic rookies to 699. We have the gold version numbered to 50. We have his SV game used rookie exclusives autograph number to 100. It's going to focus. There you go. We have his SPX rookie jersey number to 799. We have his SPX rookie patch number to 35, a really nice little chunk. Three colors in that small tiny patch, so it's pretty nice. Really like this card and the design of it. Then we have his The Cup rookie patch autograph number to 249, three color patch. We have his The Cup gold rookie number to 25. Now on to the biggest one we got is the Cup Black Rookie Tag Autograph number 5 of 5. This one was a pretty expensive card to buy, but it was really nice back in the day to pick that one up. Then we have his Titanium Rookie. This is number 2, only 100. And then we also got his Titanium True Rookie, number to 13. That one only cost me like $40 in a day. We also actually have a couple more cards from the cup. It's some printing plates, an SP Authentic Cyan printing plate, autograph, one of one. As you can see on the back here, on the top, one of one. And we also have his SPX Black printing plate, one of one. This was the first one of one I ever had, and I have 13 of them now total, so it's pretty nice. Next, continuing on with Titanium, we got a dual autograph number to 50 with Ryan Johansson, who's now obviously with the National Predators. And then we also got a Ultimate Rookies to 399. In the final load of 2011-12 stuff, we got a total of 13 Young Guns. Yes, that's <laughs> um, intended because of his jersey number, but we got a total of 13 of them. As you can see, all these. Young ones right here. Really nice pile. Maybe I'll get one of them graded eventually. I don't know. Then we got a Rookie Materials jersey. This one is not numbered. I still need the patch version of this to 25. We got the Young Guns exclusives number to only 100. This is a really nice one. Then we got a black printing plate. Young Gun, little Young Gun printing plate. And then we also got his Ice Rookie number 2999. There is one, or well, two other cards, three other cards that are from 2011 12 as well, but I'll get to those ones later because they're kind of nice ones. So let's get into the 2012 13 stuff now. So if you guys were collecting cards in 2012 13, uh, you'd know it is a really bad year for collecting, so there was not a lot of Cam Atkinson cards in those days. But we got his AHL base again from Top Prospects. We got his autographics from Fleer Retro. It's like a skybox auto. Pretty cool looking. We have his score base from 1213. And we have the gold parallel. I still need the black version. I've never seen it before in my life, but... Hopefully I'll find it one of these days. And then we also have two first goal inserts from score 12-13. So that's all from 12-13 that he had pretty much except for the black one. I don't have that yet. Uh, so let's get on to the 2013-14 stuff. Okay, so starting off with the 2013-14 stuff. Um, this was actually a big year for Cam Atkinson. He started getting a lot more stuff in like OPG and Series 1 and whatnot. So... Sure enough, we got his 13-14 OPG base. We got his OPG base retro. We have the rainbow version. We have the black border version. This is number 2, 100. We got his retro blank back, which I actually got for free because some guy sent it to me. Really cool card. We got his 13-14 score. We got his 13-14 score gold, his 13-14 score red, 
and his 13-14 score black. I still need the red back to complete that rainbow. And then we got a total of, I think it's like 7 or 8 um, Upper Deck Series, what is it, Series 2? Yeah, Upper Deck Series 2 base cards of him. I don't know why I picked up this much of them, but people have been throwing them in as extras, so why not? Then we have a Series 1 base, or not Series 1 base, but that Series 2 exclusives, number 2, 100. Then we have the High Gloss Parallel, number 2, only 10. Then we also have 4 UD Signatures. I kind of went overboard on them a bit, just because the fact that this was his first autograph that wasn't in his rookie season. Then we have a TTM auto. If you guys don't know what TTM is, it's through the mail autograph. So I sent this base card to Cam, and he sent it back, and he signed it for me. Way back in uh, 2015, as you can see, I wrote it on the tape. So this one's always a personal favorite. Okay, so now into the 14-15 stuff. This was a bit of a small year again for Cam Atkinson. But as you can see, we got his OPG base, just like what we did the previous year. We have the retro version. Still looking for the retro blank back from this year. We got the rainbow. Nice and shiny. We got the red border, which I don't have for 1314. We got the black parallel, number 2 100. As you can see up here, number 2 100. And then we have his series, uh, is it series 1? No, it's series 2 again. Series 2 base. We have his series 2 exclusives, number 2 100. We have the high gloss parallel, number 2 10. And then we also have his printing plate, number, or yellow printing plate. This one is numbered 1 of 1, obviously. That was like the first base printing plate I've ever had of him. So really cool there. Step on to his 15-16 stuff. This is where he kind of got started getting more cards again. So we got a Panini sticker because Panini still makes stickers. We have his OPG base. We have the OPG retro. We have the OPG rainbow. Or rainbow foil, whatever you want to call it. We have the red border parallel. We have the black border parallel, number 2 100. As you can see again up there. And then we also have the blank back retro. Now into overtime, which this is the first time he was in overtime. So as you can see, we got two of his overtime base cards from 15-16. Then we also have the blue parallel. This is not numbered. We also have the red parallel. This is numbered to 99 only. As you can see right down there on the bottom. Then we have the autograph, which is a gold autograph. This is not numbered, but they're actually pretty tough to pull autographs in overtime. Because overtime is like free packs that come with your boxes sometimes. Um, next up on to 15-16 Upper Deck. We got four of his base cards. We got his UD exclusives. Number 2, 100. Just like what we did in the past couple of years. We also got his high gloss number to 10. We got his UD Midnight, which was a new parallel introduced at the Expo number 25. And then we also got a total of six Silver Foils, which are also a new parallel because this came out in EPAC in 2015-16. I picked up six of them for the nice cards. Okay, guys, we're back quickly. I, I know I just did a cut, but it's just because I had to put a lot of my cards back in the boxes because I didn't have enough room on my desk. So let's get into the 2016-17 stuff. This is where Cam started to get a lot of cards. And he has a lot actually this year as well. Okay, so starting off with 2016-17 artifacts. He only had this gold Aurum. He also actually has a Spectrum version, but I've never found it yet. So this is one of them that I have so far. 
Then we have a total of four Compendium Blue Parallels. These are also from EPAC. So these are nice ones. As you can see, four total. Then we also have four Red Parallels. So these are actually harder to get. And then we also have one Gold Parallel. Because these ones are really tough to get. So that's really nice. Then we also have a Compendium Magenta printing plate, which I got from EPAC as well from a trader. Really nice looking. Then on to 1617 OPG. We got the standard stuff. We got the base card. If I can get this in focus again. The base card, the retro, the rainbow, the red border, and the uh, black border number to 100. Then he was actually an OPG Platinum in 1617, which was really nice to see that, because um, that means I could get a ton of parallels. So we got two of his just base cards, nice and metallic looking. And then we got two of his Rainbow. So these ones are pretty easy to get if you guys don't collect cards. Then we have two Ice Blue Tracks, which are pretty nice looking parallels. These are not numbered. And then onto some of the nice parallels, we got a total of three of these nice rainbow wheels, which are EPAC exclusives. Really cool looking, nice and shiny. And then we got some of the numbered parallels. We got two red prisms, number two, 199. As you can see on the back on the bottom, it's number two, 199. Then we got two ice blue cubes, or royal blue cubes, actually they're called. These ones are numbered to only 99, as you can see on the back. Then on to some of the great parallels, we got a gold seismic number to 50. I put this one in a one touch. As you can see, it's number to 50. Then we got a orange rainbow number to 25. Then we got a emerald surge number to 10. These ones are kind of cool looking too. And then we got the nice one, the holy grail of them. The golden treasures one of one. This is like a super fracture if you guys are into baseball stuff. So this one is a really nice one. Then on to more stuff from Platinum. We got two printing plates. The cyan and the yellow. I still need the magenta and the black. Next up is Parker's, so we got three of the standard base cards, these are greens, well they're just bases, but still. Then we got the red parallel, we got the black parallel, which is a bit tougher of a pull, but not really that tough, because Parker's was retail only. Then on to upper deck, we got two of his base cards. We got his clear cut acetate, which is a new, like, well, new parallel back in those days, or that year, last year actually. I still need this year's version of it. Um, then we got a total of three silver foils from EPAC. We got also a total of three gold foil parallels. These ones are, if you get ten silver foils, you can put it together to make one of these gold foils. So I've done that a couple times. Then we got a total of two UD exclusives, number two, 100. This one's one of 100. This one is number 94 out of 100. Then we got the UD Midnight Parallel, number 25 again. We got the High Gloss, number 10. Then we got a Black Printing Plate, number one of one. There we go. And then we got a total of how many of these? Six UD canvas cards. This was the first time Cam ever had a canvas card, so I picked up six of them. So the final 1617 stuff we got here is MVP. 
So we got a total of how much he used? Three of his base cards. We have a total of two um, puzzle back cards. These ones are kind of weird because they have like a puzzle back on them so you can make puzzles. As you can see, we got Tarasenko's head on the back. Then we got a total of four silver scripts. We also got a total of four colors and contours. Teal level, what is it? Teal level three? Teal level two. Then we also got four green scripts, which are EPAC exclusives. We also got a gold script numbered to 165. And then we have two super scripts numbered to 25. I like the looks of these super scripts, really nice. And then we also have a yellow printing plate numbered 101. And then our final MVP card is another kind of TTM uh, card. I didn't actually get this signed by myself, but some guy um, sent me it. He uh, sent it to Cam and got it signed for me. So this MVP base is signed by him. So next up is the 2017-18 stuff, which is the last of it. And then we'll show you guys the big cards at the end. Or the biggest card at the end, actually, I should say. So 2017-18, I've been picking up a lot of Cam Atkinson stuff, starting off with Artifacts. We have his Orem. So this one still has the code on the back for Bounty, but I'm never going to scratch it. Um, then we have his Artifacts base card. We have two of his Artifacts red parallels, numbered at 299. We have the Emerald parallel, numbered to 99. We got the orange parallel numbered 55 of 55. And then recently I picked up this purple parallel numbered to 20. Then we also got the purple dual stick numbered to 10. I still need the black dual materials, but uh, I might be getting that in sometime soon because I'm trading for it or potentially buying it. And then we got a dual uh, memorabilia autograph. I don't know what the second piece is, but the first one's a stick. Maybe stick tape or something. But it's number three of five. Then we got a black autograph, number five of five. Next up on to compendium, we got the base, par or base blue parallel. And the gold version. We also got a black one of one printing plate. Next up on to OPG, we got the same parallels pretty much as always, and then some other stuff too. So we got a total of four of these base cards. Sorry if they're out of focus. We got two of these retro parallels. We got uh, one rainbow parallel. We got a black parallel number to 100, just like every other year. As you can see down there, we got the red border parallel, and then we also got the retro blank back. Next up, we also got some OPG minis, which were new this year. So starting off, we got just the basic mini. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the top loader itself that's holding it. Then we got two black minis. These are not numbered. And we got this retro uh, retro back version. This one is numbered only to 27, as you can see, hand numbered. Really nice. Still need the gold mini and the red mini. And then we also got two playing cards. We got the regular playing card. And we got the foil playing card. The next up onto OPG Platinum. We don't have much stuff from this year so far. We only have three base cards. Um, that I pulled and something else um, But I'm planning to get the rest of the parallels sometime soon And then we also got a retro rainbow as you can see this is a nice not numbered Next up we got overtime we got only just the base card. We don't have the uh, parallels yet We got a Panini sticker there's apparently two other panini stickers of his this year, so I'll be looking for those then we got the Parkhurst, like, normal basic parallel. 
We got the Parker's Red. I still need the black version. And we got two Parker's Priority signings numbered to 25. These ones were uh, at the Fall Expo. I was lucky enough to get one for free from a guy. And then I actually bought one myself, so really nice. Then we got from the new SP Authentic. It's a nice limited autograph number, or not numbered, but normally they were numbered to like 25. But this one looks really nice and clean. I really like the design, and it's nice and on card. Next on to SP Game Used, which Cam has some really nice cards in. So we got a base card number to 13. We got his orange base number to 135. It's like an orange rainbow base. As you can see on the bottom of 135. Then we got the blue autograph. This is not numbered. Then we got two of the duels or two of these stick pair like gold sticks. I don't know what they call them. Out of 25. One of them has two ch uh, two color chunk. One of them doesn't. Then we have the All-Star Skill Fabrics jersey cards, number, or not number, just a normal patch, or jersey version, my bad. So those are nice. Then we have the patch version, number 235, this is like three colors, kind of, because it's got two different shades of blue, and then the silver. We got two Banner Year jerseys, or not jerseys, just Banner Year. I think they're just from a banner at the All-Star game, is what I heard. And then we also got the banner year autograph number to 25. Nice NHL shield on it. But as you can see right here, it is out of 25. It's kind of hard to tell, but it says right there. Then we got a goal puck, which is a piece of a puck from when he like scored a goal against the Edmonton Oilers. Pretty neat. In the final stack of 17-18 stuff, we got his Supreme Patches, number 15. This one is a really nice one, three colors, but with all those stars in it, it's really nice. Then we have a Supreme Sticks. This one's also number 15. Then we got a SPX Impressions Autograph, number 249. Then we have a Synergy Impact Players. I actually think I have the red version or something out of 26 coming. Some guy might be sending it to me for free, so I might do a mail day video on that. Maybe not. Then we get his Tim Hortons base. Really nice to see him in Tim Hortons this year. Then we got his 17-18 Upper Deck base card. We have the exclusives number to 100. We got the UD Midnight number to 25. The High Gloss number to 10. Then we got one Silver Foil. And one Gold Foil. All I need pretty much to complete that rainbow is the Clear Cut. Um, so that one shouldn't be too hard to get. Then we got two Signature Sensations. So these are nice. Then we got a clear cut foundations duel out of 25 with him with Sakurinsky. Nice acetate looking card. We got the shiny stars regular. We have the shiny stars red. Then on to MVP stuff. He has the same stuff pretty much as every other year of MVP. We got the MVP base card, two of them actually. These are short printed bases, but they're pretty easy to pull still. Then we got the silver foil. Or not silver foil, what the heck. Silver script. We got the green script. We got two uh, colors and contours, purple level, what is it, level one? Yeah, purple level ones. And then we got a super script, numbered to 25. We have two black superscripts numbered to only five. So I have 
two of the five. I could have had a third, but I didn't get it. Then on to Trilogy, we got a Signature Pucks. And we also got a Triple Relics, which is a dual stick and a patch. It has Dubinsky on it as well and Wenberg, number 49. And the final card from Trilogy is a Triptych's Autograph, number 2199. I also have actually a UD Ice Glacial Graphs incoming, so that is another card that I knocked off my want list. Now on to some of the biggest ones. Well, there's one big one, and then there's a couple other nice cards that I had to show at the end. So starting off with the non-bigger ones, we have a booklet of him with Ryan Johansson and Craig Smith and Blake Jeffrey on, not numbered. And then we also have two of these, actually. We got this one with uh, David Savard and Mark Shifley and Paul Postma. And then there's this one as well that's in here. It's just I don't have a one-touch for it yet. And the nicest card here before I show off one of my last things is this UD Exclusives. So this is the High Gloss Young Gun, and it is graded 9.5. Really nice one. Probably the cornerstone of my collection. So yeah, there's that one. And then the final thing, which is actually an item, is a nice goal puck from when he scored against my Ottawa Senators back in 2015. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. As you can see here, CBJ number 13 shows the time he scored at in what period. So yeah, this is a pretty cool collector's item. And then it's got the Certificate of Authenticity on the back. So yeah, guys, that is my Cam Atkinson hockey card collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more card videos like this, uh, please leave a like. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.